Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and I'm playing with swipes today in different methods. And I'm going to give myself an edge of black, I think. I left my colors in my way. Yep. <laughs> Come on, out of my way. I'm going to grab a shovel in a second and I'm going to try and add some colors right to my canvas from the shovel. Or maybe I have this little container that will work very similar to a shovel. It seems to have a little bit of moisture left. I'm going to add other colors that I'm going to use in the same composition. I want them to be more organic than straight, so that's why I'm adding them in curves. I meant to add a layer of white pearl or white metallic. Oh, that's not coming out fast at all. So bear with me for a moment. Maybe we'll just add that via the squeeze bottle if I can get it to squeeze anything out. See if I can get that to run down. Maybe I can get the plug out of the top. Or maybe I can't. So, I have the Sargent's White Metallic, which is probably called Pearl. And I hope this works. And it might not. <laughs> There's always that possibility. Come on out. Whatever you... Whatever you are. Alright, so what do I like? I like this a lot. So I'm just going to give myself a whole bunch more of it. And that. And what else? What else? What else? I have this pink. Something is lacking. I'm not sure what it is. That could be it. Not exactly what I was expecting, and that thing there does not belong. And there's an awful lot of that now. But never mind. So I'm going to give myself a bunch of gold, hopefully. And just swipe away right after I get rid of some of it. I'll just save that for my edges. So, where's my container I scrape off into? I don't have a lot in there, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna move some of this paint right down to the edge. Usually I would put some black enamel in there and maybe I will and maybe I won't. Super simple, except for all those bottles in the way. <laughs> Let's move some bottles out of the way and see what I need to do to this to make it, to finalize it. I hope that fills back in. Hmm. I don't mind the halfway down marks. I kind of like them actually. I don't like losing those cells up there. I 
I see that rather large object and I'm going to try and remember to grab it with my tweezers once I have them dry. I do not want to drip water. So I'm going to snag a little more paint. Hope I can fill that in right there. Keep uncovering those other colors, which reminds me, I used to use a straw. I like exposing rainbows. <laughs> That's great. It's a great cell. Gotta be careful not to drag your straw. I see another thing in there. Agitated paint will often sell. definitely contemplate filling my gaps with just the blunt end of a skewer. Nothing major happening there. I think some mark making in the middle isn't going to hurt me either. Just back and forth in a flame shape. Especially where I see there might be some canvas. Are those white marks from the paint showing through that I don't really care for very much. So this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying I'm almost done. And I learn something almost every time. Got a lot more gold cells over here, but I had to double swipe on this side. I think I'm going to tip one way or the other. Let everything go to the bottom a little bit. I'm going to grab whatever paint is on my turntable while that's happening. Fortunately, it's pretty level, so it's going to flow in a kind of an even pattern, which I appreciate, because sometimes it doesn't. And then I'm going to torch. You know, this just reminds me how much I like spirals. And I haven't put any spirals into a swipe in a long time. And I love, love, love the way they look. Can put little ones and just twist in place. But you can also adjust your colors really nicely. And the cells stay. So I should tell you guys whatever I usually tell you, which is check out my over 1,500 videos on my YouTube channel, organized by on playlists, organized by all playlists and creative playlists, organized by hundred and by genre topic. If you guys ever have any questions, feel free to ask me. See, if there are any gummy little spots that don't make me happy, I can just run my skewer through. And add some spirals. And as long as the paint is heavy, it will usually fill right back in. I could even add a little more, and I kind of want to add... I'm 
little more red everywhere because I love, love, love the way it looks in there. I need one more. Just little tiny splashes of color. Not even spirals. And I have one more place I want to camouflage. And then I'm going to call it good. I love you guys. There's over 90,000 of you. Subscribe to me. I wish a few of you would share my videos so I get more than a couple hundred people watching. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint here. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. I really appreciate them. I'm going to be fixing my bottom right now. With some black paint while the rest of it's still heavy. So it'll go right over. I've got some miscellaneous got some miscellaneous gold down there, which shouldn't hurt anything really. Mix right in with the black. I like it. I'm good with it. So what should I tell you? I have Teespring clothing below the video. I see that thing that's bugging me though. Anything that's bugging you, you just stick a skewer in it and usually you can make it look different. <laughs> That's all I'm going to promise. And I see all those little white spots are not making me happy, but I don't think it's going to be a problem tomorrow when everything darkens up. And don't forget, you can always steal a little paint, put it right on the dull end of a skewer, and tap it into place. Very easy fix. As long as the paint is nice and wet. So we all set. I could keep adding colors to this for a long time and have a ball. I gotta remember that some other time just to do a really plain swipe and then add the colors I like afterwards and drag them. I think I might take my colors and see if I can make some kind of animal. We'll see what happens. All right. So you guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Make sure you look at my Amazon link if you're interested in the OXO omelet turning spatula or the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst mini blade spatulas. Like so. They're on the link. The Amazon link is on the link tree. And when you shop there, you help me out. And I really appreciate it. My two books are there too. Expressionist Art. Excuse me. Ha! brain cramp. Because I can and unlimited possibilities. That's volume one and volume two. And I'm just going to put some color on here while I just fix my edges for a second. Drip a paint on my finger, run it down the edge as best I can, and that is covered. That's awesome. What else did I forget to tell you? Oh, there's a there's a drawing for to win an artwork or two or three or whatever in any given month and you can see what those prizes are for the people who'd make a donation to help keep the studio running keep me making videos and that exhibition video that shares those prizes is the exhibition video it's on the end screens of any video I bulk edit that so it's everywhere if you guys want to reach me my email address is below the video excuse me it's below the link tree <laughs> I'm too focused and uh, that's the best way to contact me should you have an interest in purchasing an artwork or reserving some class time. I do private classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, one-on-one. -on -one. Now that people are beginning to get around, and that's nice. And I will see you guys anon. Check out my Facebook groups. I know, I'm jumping all over the place. My Facebook groups are Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students. And I often share tomorrow's video there. And I also share tomorrow's video on the community board on my YouTube channel. And if I see anything else that's bugging me, or I need something else in there, I'm going to add it. I 
I do feel like adding a bunch of stuff. But I'm gonna be good. There. I think that's better. <laughs> I'll be sure tomorrow. Bye for now. I know I forgot stuff, but I didn't forget to say I love you. I love you. Please share my videos. Please like my videos. I appreciate it when you watch them longer, and I especially appreciate it when you watch them when the notifications come out. I am going to attempt to zoom in. And move my camera around. I know people like that. And sometimes I do too. All right, you guys take care of each other, take care of yourselves. I know I'm repetitious, but I still love you. Bye for now. Priscilla out.